So my challenge today was to build a website that uses the Pokemon API to fetch and display a list of Pokemon to your screen. It had to include a search bar and I had to do it in PHP in three hours. I decided I would spend the first half an hour getting a basic overview of the language by watching YouTube videos and also checking out docs and stuff. I went to php.net and started looking into what you actually need to run PHP on your computer. Turns out you need something called Apache, which is an HTTP server you can run on your computer. And there's also packages available that have MySQL, Apache and PHP. I decided to take a minute to just get familiar with the language by going to W3 schools and looking at some examples of PHP code and checking out what they had to say about how to install it. I asked ChatGPT also, and it seemed that the best choice for me was a package called MAMP. While that was installing, I checked out another YouTube video. This was an old school one, but that seemed to be the trend with PHP, and it ended up being super useful for this project. Once MAMP was installed, I opened it up, checked out the GUI, and hit start. And it opened up a tab in my browser that contained some introductory pages. One of the tabs on this page said, My Website. It seemed that this was kind of the home page where if I wrote some code and set it up right, it would display here. So once I had the server running, I decided to create a repo on GitHub for this project and create my first index.php file. And before I wrote any code, I was already getting an error. I spent a few minutes searching around trying to understand what was causing it or how to fix it. I figured maybe since it was in VS Code I needed to install some sort of extension. So I did get an extension called PHP IntelliFence. And then this article had the solution. This option tells VS Code where the executable PHP file is on your computer. So at this point I was ready to finally start writing some code. And here I got to hello world and I was about halfway through my time. So I did a git commit, then I tried making another change and noticed that my server wasn't updating. I looked into this and found out that there is an option in MAMP for caching PHP and if you turn that off then it'll automatically reload your file. Now I was ready to try to integrate the Pokemon API into this app. So I had to figure out how to send requests to that API within PHP. And I found a function called file get contents, which seemed to be what I was looking for. And I found this article that had boilerplate code for fetching some API data. So I did a copy and paste, and there we go. It was fetching data from an API. So I celebrated with a commit, and I just went through this code line by line and translated it to work within the context of the Pokemon API. And at this point, I had the Pokemon data showing up. Those are abilities from the Pokemon Ditto. So I did another commit, and then I found a PHP library which wraps the Pokemon API. And I figured this might make it easier for implementing more complicated features, so I looked into it. Turns out I needed to install Composer, which is a package manager for PHP. So I looked into that, and I actually spent a while trying to get it working. I had to do a couple different things. I needed to be able to run the PHP executable from my command line. And at this point, I knew I already had PHP installed, but it was within that MAMP package. So I asked ChatGPT what to do, and I decided to just do a clean install of PHP using Homebrew. In the meantime, I started looking deeper into the Pokemon API, trying to find where the images for the Pokemon are. Eventually, I found out they're within this object called Sprites. I pasted that URL into my browser to make sure it was working, and there you can see Ditto. So at this point, PHP was done installing. It was telling me to adjust some configuration files, and looking into it, I just got more confused. I decided maybe I could ignore that. And it seemed to be installed right because the PHP command was working, so I tried again to download Composer, and it worked this time. So once I had Composer installed, I could try adding this library to my project. And I ran it, and it worked. It added a ton of files, and I needed to add a git ignore. So I searched for a PHP git ignore online and just copied it and put it in my project, and it seemed to work. This is good to do to just keep your git repository from filling up with random third-party library code. So I hope that this library was installed right and working. I copied the main function for using their API, and it was not working. I cleaned up my code a little bit, hoping the error would go away, but it didn't. 
I looked into it, tried a couple other things, but realized I was just wasting a lot of time. I didn't really need to include this library, and because I was on a time crunch, I just decided to scrap it and complete the project without this library. So at this point, the only thing I was fetching was some random Pokemon's abilities, and I wanted to get a whole list of the names of Pokemon, as well as their images. So I had to refer to the API docs and adjust my code so that I could display a list of Pokemon names with their sprites. So I got that working and was feeling pretty good, so I did a git commit. And at this point, I needed to start implementing the search bar. I referred back to that old school PHP video. The guy shows you how to use a form to receive user input and change the display on the page in response. Because I'm used to just writing client-side JavaScript, I would have preferred to just change the display without needing to reroute the user, but I didn't know how to do that and I figured I just needed to make something happen. So I made a new file called search.php, which the user would be routed to after they submitted a search. I started implementing this code, but I actually ended up running out of time, and so I just had to stop where I was at. So I didn't fully finish the project in time, but I'm still happy with what I came up with. And because I was so close to finishing, I decided to take an extra 15 minutes and just get the search page working. So here's just a run through of the app. I have a list of Pokemon displaying, a search bar. You can search for a specific Pokemon and it brings you to a detail page for that Pokemon. I didn't have time to do any styling or anything fancy, but from never using PHP before, to making this, I'm pretty happy with the end result.